I went back to learning JavaScript. The next big concept in JavaScript are objects. It's a little bit harder to explain what it is, but once you see one, it's fairly easy to understand. In principle, it's almost like real life object. So it can be, for example, a car. And inside of it, you can then define multiple properties with values. That's also called a key and name. So type has the value of Ford, model the value of focus, color the value of silver, and this is all part of the object which is called car. Usually as the type for it you always use const. There's a different way to write all of this. Let me show you this. You can use const again, then the name of the object. equal to new object and then empty brackets and this declares basically this creates this object it's empty for now but now we can use car and then dot the property name and set its value so in our case type was Ford the model was focus And the color was silver, so we use car dot the specific name of the property and then set its value. And this would create the same object that we've got above. Let me delete this. And now we can, for example, print this out or access this using the object's name. Let me test this first, it prints it out. And now I print car.type and this will print out Ford, which is the value of the specific property of the specific object called car. If I use model, this is now focus. And color would be silver. Let me turn this into car1 and we'll create a new object called car2. Once again, const car2 equals new object empty brackets. Don't forget the semicolon. Then we'll create car2.type. I'll make this a Chevrolet. I make the model a Camaro. And the color, I don't know, I'll make it red. And now we'll simply change the name of our object here and we'll get the model for the second object. There's certainly a little bit more to objects. We can, for example, also store arrays in it and we can even store objects inside of objects. But as an intro, that should be enough. Try to create your own object. And then in the next tutorials, we will use these objects a little bit and play around with the properties. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.